So today's setup, we're paving inch and a half on this job. What we're going to do is set this roller up for an inch and a half. The recommended settings here based on our compaction guide, again, inch and a half. So I'm going to follow that down here to look at my recommended settings for the first vibe system. What that's telling me is I want to set my frequency. That's the button up here at the operator station on the high mode. So when I set that frequency on high, I'm going to see two green lights there. If I was on low, I'd only have one light. So again, for inch and a half, we're going to set that on high. And we go back to our chart here. Again, inch and a half, I've got that set on high. Now I'm going to go down on the drum and change the wheel down there and set that to high amplitude setting. So what that's doing is setting it up again for an inch and a half lift. That's a good starting point for us using this compaction guide. Uh, field conditions always change. We may end up changing that uh, later on. But again, this is a, a great starting point uh, to set up a burst bike system for an inch and a half lift. So now to continue setup with our inch and a half lift on this job, we set the frequency up top on the machine already at the, the high frequency setting, two green lights there. Now we're going to go down on the rear drum and set the wheel on high. So there's a high and a low setting there. You'll see a red tab inside the drum here when I go in to set that. And when we do this, make sure that you always set both the front and the rear drum to the same setting. So again, in this case, we're going to set it on, on the high setting. If you look in there, you can actually see that that disc is already on the high setting. But again, just note the red tab there is lined up with high, uh, meaning it's on that on that high setting. And again, if I had to change that, I just reach in, pull that disc, rotate it to the to the low setting. You hear it lock in place there. Now it's locked in the low setting. One thing you will notice that tab does not always line up perfectly with the low and the high setting that's uh, that's marked on the on the disc itself. Don't get too worried about that. Again, you'll feel it lock in place. So I'm going to go back now, pull that disc out, and set it back to the high setting where we want it for this inch and a half lift. Rotate. Here, kind of lock in place there. I rotate it a bit just to make sure it's locked. Now you can see it's lined up on high, and we're all set. Front and rear drum, both on high, we're ready to go.